In this video, I want to demonstrate how to add a limit distance mate between this face of this part and this face of this part. First, from the evaluate ribbon, I'm going to select measure, and I want to know what the distance from this face is to this face. So the distance here is shown, it's 3 eighths of an inch, so I can close this. So next, I want to add the limit distance mate. I can do that in two ways. I can select this face and rotate around, hold control, select this face, release control, and then out here I can choose the limit distance mate, or I'm just going to click in white space to clear my selections. I can come to the assembly ribbon, select mate, wait for the window to open, and that type of mate is an advanced mate, so it will be here once I select the faces. So I'm select this face again, rotate around, select this face, and I'll rotate it back, and if I scroll up right now, any mate I can use isn't grayed out, such as a distance. As soon as I click here, then the limit distance options will open up. So I'm going to set the minimum distance to zero and the maximum distance to three eighths. And I'm going to have to change the current distance to somewhere in that range. So I changed the current distance to a quarter and we saw how it moved. I've said the maximum distance is three eighths, the minimum of zero. And if the parts weren't aligned properly, I could flip the alignment with this. So I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to say OK. So I still have the mate window open. Here's the mate I just created. I'm going to close the mate window and now I want to check that it works. So if I drag it down, it can't go any lower than that. If I try and bring it up, it can't come up any higher. So I can move it up and down now.